everybody, it's me, Jackie Armand. I'm back again with another with another spooky craft video. Today, we are gonna flip that house. That's right. Um, <laughs> I have this this really old haunted house that I got for like a long from a long time ago. I don't remember where I got it. <clears throat> it was either Michael's or home goods or a thrift store or something like that. I am not sure. But um, as you can see, uh, it needs a little bit of TLC. It's falling apart. Um, not only is some of it missing and coming apart here in the front, uh, but it has completely detached from its base. Uh, just the wear and tear of it being in our Halloween bin has just wrecked this thing. And I've been wanting to fix it for years and just haven't gotten around to it. Uh, but then I thought I could just fix it. Uh, or I could make it better. Uh, so that's what we're going to do today. We are going to perform a extreme makeover home edition on this haunted house. <laughs> and we're going to make it look even cooler and more haunted than it already does. But uh, before we get into that, um, I would like to say that if this is the kind of content you like, if you like crafting, you like tutorials, you like uh, costuming and sometimes creepy recipes, uh, that you would give this video a thumbs up and you would also hit that subscribe button. Also, don't forget to ring the bell so you can be notified anytime I post a new video. It is Halloween all year long here, not just in October. So if you like that, then stick with us because it's a lot of spooky fun on this channel. Also, if you'd like to support this channel in a little more personal way, uh, I have a Patreon. Patrons are eligible to have lots of fun goodies, extra goodies, including extra content. I have a video series uh, on that is Patreon exclusive uh, that is called TerrorTube. And it is a horror host type show hosted by me, uh, where I do lots of just extra spooky fun. The latest episode that just dropped like last month is me reviewing one of my favorite Disney Channel original Halloween movies, uh, Mom's Got a Date with a Vampire. Uh, there's a preview here on my channel that you can check out too if you think you're might be into it. And I plan on doing another Terror Tube soon. So, you know, if that sounds interesting, then uh, head to patreon.com slash Jackie Arment and think about giving a little bit of support. Even if you can only afford just the smallest tier, which is $3 a month, it helps out so, so much. It helps support this channel. It helps support all the things that we're doing, the supplies, all of that stuff. And it also adds to our fund of treats for Lydia which I'm sure she appreciates. <laughs> so yeah, please head there, especially coming up here on spooky season. There's a lot of extra fun goodies that are there. So think about, think about becoming a patron. Um, but yeah, uh, I guess with all that being said though, I guess we'll just go ahead and get into the video. Let's go. <laughs> okay. We are uh, in the craft room. Um, and I'm just going to kind of show you the wear and tear on this thing and then my ideas for how I, what I want to do and the things that I have so far. I might have to go back out to the store after I start figuring out what works for this thing. I might go back to Hobby Lobby, but I'll show you what I already got so far. So what we've got, we have to do to this house. So um, <clears throat> yes, it is off the platform. I don't think... I'm going to glue it back to this because I think it's been easier to store it when we can kind of, it's detached and we can lay it on its side. Uh, so I don't think I'm going to end up gluing this back on here, but I am going to do some stuff to this to make it look cooler. But for starters, uh, this little front part here needs to be fixed. Uh, it is coming off as you can see. So it needs to be glued back and the roof is missing. Who knows where it is? It's somewhere in our Halloween bin in the abyss. Um, and I don't know. So, but it's cardboard. Th you know, we have, there's this little fence here that came with, the, that was on the base or whatever. And it's just kind of made out of cardboard. It's really crappy and ugly and it fell off. And I don't think I'm going to put it back on here. I think I will use this to reconstruct reconstruct a new roof for the top here. It doesn't have to look pretty because we're gonna put, I'm gonna kind of paint it 
the roof, I think. Anyway, so it, <clears throat> it doesn't have to look perfect. That's structure that needs to be fixed. Uh, and then, oh, and you can kind of see how this is sagging in here. It's kind of been squished and needs to be pushed out. I think I have some popsicle sticks somewhere. I need to look for them uh, in here. And I think I'm going to kind of glue them in here and kind of reinforce this, push it back out, maybe to help it be more sticking out again because it is going in. For cosmetic uh, to change the appearance here, um, I'll probably take a lot of the Spanish moss off. I might glue some more back on, but I don't like it right now. I do have some uh, Spanish moss that I might use. I'm going to take this spider off because it's what is the point of that? I, I don't know. It is a giant spider on the roof. It doesn't make any sense. But that's coming off. And we're just going to judge this thing up. As far as the windows go, these windows are really flimsy. Some of them are kind of coming apart. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do something with that or if I'm just going to leave it. You can't really tell. Um, but I do want to put some like wax paper or parchment paper or something like that behind these windows. Uh, so they're like frosted and they actually look like they have window panes. And then the back of this thing has a little hole for you to put like fairy lights in. So I, I kind of want to put some lights in this, maybe some purple ones. And so I want the windows to be kind of not completely see-through. I want them to have like, like what looks like glass, I guess, behind them. Um, hello. What are you doing? What are you doing? What's up, dear? Why are you always in my business? <sighs> um, but as for the front and the roof, I'm gonna like kind of redo these things. So the plan, I went to Hobby Lobby and I went to the doll house area and I got some, I got some roof shingles. Um, they're just kind of like rough, they feel like roof shingles, uh, and I'm just gonna kind of probably cut these up and put them all along the roof, because I think it will make it look, you know, more like a roof. Right now, it's got, the whole house has this weird pattern on it. It's like camo or something. I don't know what it is. It's really strange, and I'm not a fan. So yeah, I want to put... I want to give this a cool roof. I might paint over it too. I don't know, but we'll put, we'll, we'll, we'll make it look kind of old, but these are black. I think that'll work. Um, excuse me. Um, and then for the side of the house, I found this, it's technically floor paneling uh, for a dollhouse, like uh, for the floor. Uh, so it's just like a little... <clears throat> wood panel. It's kind of balsa wood or whatever kind of seems like. It's really thin. Uh, and then there's... It's got like sticky backing on it, which is kind of cool. So it might make it easy to stick it on. But I'm thinking about cutting this up because <clears throat> it's really thin. So I should be able to cut it up pretty easily just with an X-Acto knife or something. Uh, and just put siding basically on this house just all along it but i think before i do that before i start cutting it and sticking it on there i want to stain it um i have this color wash tint it's black that i use for etsy stuff um and i'll probably use that to make this kind of like a gray finish stain uh, I think that'll look really cool. And then, you know, after I've got it all in the house, I'll go in with some weathering and make it look old and grimy and gross. Uh, but I, I think I want to stain it before I put it on the house. I think that'll make, it'll lessen a step. And then I might have to buy more of this. I don't know. I bought one sheet for now to see uh, how much that uses up. But, uh... Yeah, I don't know. I'm, I might have to buy more. We'll see. And if I do, then I do. But I bought one for now to see how long, how, you know, that, how far it goes. It's only $7, so I'm not that worried about it. And maybe if I have some left over, I can, um, I was thinking I might make some of these windows, especially some of the ones that are kind of broken or ripped, uh, put boards across them so they look like they're boarded up, you know? I think that would be cool. So, yeah. And then, oh man, the roof is coming off of this thing, too. 
Yeah, this needs a lot of reinforced glue and such. It's coming apart. Uh, and I'm hoping that that wood will kind of help the structure of this house be a little bit stronger. Uh, that's another reason why I'm kind of doing that too and not just repainting it. And then I think I might with some hot glue, maybe make some little stones um, and glue them to this and paint them so that we have like a little stone chimney instead of just it all the same pattern, the same color. I'm reminded of like Delia Dietz on Beetlejuice where she's like, I mean, there's absolutely no organic flow through. I noticed that too. It's like a giant ant farm. But uh, that's how I feel about this. But yeah, that's the plan so far with this. The base here, I mean, once I've got the house done, I'll probably go into doing the base a little bit, but can I have this place? Thank you. <laughs> You're cute. I will probably maybe make a little stone path, rip this ugly path off and make a stone path. Uh, it came with a little tree, which is cute. I kind of like the tree. The tree has fallen off. I might glue it back on. I don't know if we'll leave it unglued. But I want to do something to the tree, too. I don't know if I'll just have Spanish moss hanging off it or if I'll punch out some, like, little fall leaves or something and have, like, a little leaf pile. I might go to Michael's at some point, look at their spooky town stuff because they've got their spooky town stuff out uh, and maybe get, like some little jack-o'-lanterns to put at, by the house. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. I think once I get the house done, then I'll look at it aesthetically and figure out what kind of things I want to add to this base to make it cute. Excuse me, that is not for chewing. No, Lydia. <sighs> anyway, but yeah, that's the plan. We'll see how it goes. Things might change throughout. Uh, I don't know if I'll talk to the camera a whole lot or if I'll just do voiceover and have you guys watching because, you know, something I might start doing might change and I don't know. But I think for today, I'm mostly going to try to reinforce some of the stuff with the glue, the hot glue, uh, probably made, make the new roof for that one part with this and stain the wood paneling, flooring, whatever. Um, and let that dry. And then if I feel like I have time, like I kind of got a late start today, later than I wanted to. Um, but if I have time and I feel like it, I might go ahead and put the tile or the, the shingles on the roof if I feel like it. If I don't, then that will be tomorrow. And then probably putting the paneling on tomorrow too. That just might be a one whole thing tomorrow we do. But, uh, but yeah, I'm super excited about this. I've been wanting to kind of like do a thing like this with like a dollhouse, a miniature dollhouse or something, which I don't have nor can afford or have the space for. <laughs> so this will just have to do for now. Just redoing and making this haunted house that I already own look cool. And you know, I think the structurally, the, the, the style of this haunted house is really cute. And I think that's why I initially bought it in the first place, because I like the style, the way it looks. It's almost very Adams Family. I, I like it overall. I just, it's just boring. It needs something else, you know? It just needs to, you need to kick it up a notch, like Emerald says. Yeah, I'm gonna kick it up a little bit. So that's what we're gonna do. So, all right, I guess uh, we'll just go ahead and start getting into it. So let's go.
Hi guys, it is technically day three now of this project. Uh, I did not anticipate how long the actual doing the shingles and the siding of the house would be. I thought that I could do that all in one day and it turned out not so. <laughs> I uh, got the roof done and was tired so I did the side paneling the next day but it looks really cool. I mean, it already looks really awesome. I did have to go in and do some reinforced gluing. Um, I did stick some, you can kind of see, uh, some sticks inside to kind of re like stick, make it stick back out because it was warping. But I think, especially with this paneling, it feels so much more structurally sound now. <laughs> like it's not gonna fall apart just by blowing on it. It's just kind of how it felt before. And it already looks really cool. I mean, some of these wood planks when I was cutting them to size and breaking them apart kind of broke off in places. Um, you can kind of see uh, like right here and like right here, but you know what? I'm okay with it because it's supposed to be a haunted house. It's kind of supposed to be dilapidated, so I'm not that upset about it. That's kind of what's great about this is it doesn't have to look perfect like a dollhouse. It's supposed to look ugly and, you know, worn out. So I think what I'm going to do just today is I'm going to like work on painting this. I know it's mostly already kind of painted because I painted these planks before, but I did have to go in with some more of the stain, um, as you guys saw, and go in the cracks along the sides here. So it, you know, we didn't have any like exposed wood showing. I didn't want to see a lot of it. Um, but what I'm going to do, I think, is I'm going to go over it with kind of a dry brush, uh, like a light gray dry brushing, just to kind of bring out some more of the wood planks and really get it to stand out. It's all kind of very muddy right now and all solid black, just like one black color. So we kind of want to bring out some of these details. So I think I'm going to dry brush over some of the wood planks and then do some also some on the roof, like with a brown. And then I will probably, after this is done, after I'm dry brushing everything, I'm gonna go in probably with some green, like some mossy color, and maybe make some like under the windows, kind of like some streaks coming down. So it looks like, you know, weathering, like some oozing. Uh, I'll probably do some of that on the roof too. So it looks like there's mold, um, you know, that kind of stuff. And then uh, I think I'll probably do the hot glue for the, for the, chimney here. I want to make like little stones that I can glue on this and then paint over. So I think I might do that. But then all that's really left to do, which I went to Walmart today, um, is I'm going to put some something on the inside of the windows. Like I said, I was going to do just parchment paper and I think I'm still going to do that, but I got some, well, it's hard to see on camera, but it's, it's light purple tissue paper because I got some um, fairy lights that I only could find white ones. If I felt like it, I would have waited and ordered online some like actual colored ones because I know they make purple because I kind of want it to be spooky Halloween-y on the inside. Um, but you know, I am just gonna take some of this tissue paper. I'm gonna probably put some of the parchment paper behind it so it's more opaque. Uh, and then put that behind the windows. And then, you know, this way I can kind of change it out whenever I want. I could put orange tissue paper, I could put yellow. Like if I got bored of the purple, I can change it up because these lights are white. And then I couldn't find any of my popsicle sticks. I knew I had some somewhere, but I just bought some more at Walmart. They were like really cheap. And these are like smaller, actually. They're kind of small. Um, Might help if I don't throw them. But I think I'm gonna like kind of stain these with like some watered down brown acrylic paint and make them look like dirty wood planks. I'll probably cut them though a little bit because I want to put some planks over some of the windows to look like it's boarded up and you know, abandoned. That's the plan. And then I think we'll be pretty much done and then I'll probably work on the base. Uh, I really don't know what I'm gonna do to the base. I might just glue a bunch of Spanish moss on it, to be honest. Maybe I'll make some stones for the pathway. Like I said, I was thinking about doing that. Uh, and maybe my, I'll go to Michael's um, to get some stuff 
like cute stuff for it, but but I'm really trying to get the house done. <laughs> Hopefully today and tomorrow get the house finished and then I'll worry about the base. Um, this is taking a lot longer than I thought. I thought this was gonna maybe take like three days or less, but it's taking a little bit longer, but you know what? It's fine. I really wanna put the detail into this. I wanna make it look really good. I've looked at this haunted house for years and been like, I just want to make it look better. And now I have the chance to do that. So I don't really want to just eh, willy nilly. I really want to put the effort in and make this haunted house look really cool. So yeah, so we're just going to do painting today. And uh, yeah, that's it. Um, so let's get going. All right, I'm just cutting in real quick to tell you guys this next step I did that was kind of spontaneous. I took a little bit of black paint and decided to kind of do some little splotches uh, just kind of in haphazard little places all over the house. I thought it kind of made it look a little even more worn down and kind of broke up the monotony that was kind of all of the, the paint job that I'd done. Yeah, that's pretty much it. There was no rhyme or reason to it. I just kind of went all over the place and put it places and I thought it looked, made it look a lot better.
eventually. Alright, here with the chimney, I pretty much just painted over the entire thing with a dark gray. And then you'll see here in a little bit that after that dried, I went back with various lighter grays, uh, different shades of brown, and just kind of painted each of the different rocks um, so they were all kind of different colors. And then I went even further in and took like a stippling brush and kind of went back all over it with again more various browns uh, and I think even black and kind of just did a little stippling barely over the entire thing so that it didn't look so clean because it's just kind of looked clean at first uh, and then it kind of make it made it blend more with the roof and everything and then I think I also at the very end went in with a that same green that I used on the house and kind of made some like moss in the cracks of the rocks uh, but yeah it, it helped it blend a little bit more so it looked also aged <laughs> with the rest of the house but that's pretty much what I did there I, I didn't really talk about it on camera because uh, I didn't know what I was going to do I was just winging it so but that's basically what I did
next day. Done. Let's see if I can pick this up without. It is finished. Oh my gosh, you guys. I freaking love this thing. It turned out so much cooler than I thought it was going to. I can't, I just can't even like it is this is this is definitely the definition of a glow up. <laughs> Uh, as far as haunted houses go. Like I said, I didn't hate the way it looked before, but it just looks so cool now. I just cannot get over how neat this looks. Um, I don't have the tree on it right now because I, again, that's another thing, like I didn't really want to glue it down because it's just easier to store if it's not glued down uh, to the thing because I feel like it's just going to pop off anyway. So I didn't have it on here right now because I knew if I picked it up, it was going to fall over, but 
And I thought about gluing some Spanish moss to the tree, but then I just thought, eh, I, I think it looks spooky the way it is, you know, just a pretty regular tree. And, you know, I'll probably go to Michael's and maybe get some little spooky town, like jack-o'-lanterns or something like that to put in front of the house or something. But I don't know. I haven't figured it. I haven't decided yet. That will be something later, maybe, that I just go out and do and will actually be there uh, when it's decorated for Halloween in here. But I mean, even just for now, it looks really cool. While I'm filming this outro, I have not tested it with the lights yet because we don't have any AA batteries and the lights didn't come with batteries. Um, so later after I'm done filming this, I will do the reveal, which you guys will have already seen. Uh, with the lights, but um, so I'm not exactly sure how it looks with the lights yet, but I'm Hoping it'll look really cool, but I mean even if it doesn't it still looks cool without the lights I mean, I I I'm sorry. I just cannot get over how cool this is and I I've never really done miniatures before uh, Really like doll houses or anything like that. So I honestly had no idea how this was gonna go, but I figured this was a good project for this, be for never having done that, because, you know, if you mess it up, it's okay. It's supposed to look old and ro run down and broken and stuff like that. So this was a good project to, to do, to start um, kind of that stuff, but. I am like super proud of it. I think it looks so cool and it's something that I'm actually really happy about now because every time I would pull this out with our Halloween decorations, I would always look at it and just be like, <sighs> you know, I would just sit at it, look at it and sigh because I was just like, it looks so sad. It was broken, falling apart and it just had so much potential and I feel like now it has reached that potential. It is really cool. I just absolutely love this haunted house. And it is so much more structurally sound. I think I said that earlier in the video, um, but it does not feel like it's going to fall apart now. It is, it is solid, <laughs> this thing. But yeah, that's it. And I'm just super proud of it. And I hope maybe, maybe this inspires you guys out there who Maybe if you do have an actual dollhouse that you want to turn into a haunted house, maybe this gave you some ideas. And because I mean, obviously it would probably be on a bigger scale than this, but uh, you know, hopefully this still gave you ideas for how to achieve what you want it to look like. Um, and it didn't take that long. It took longer than I thought it was going to. It took probably about a whole week. Uh, to be fair, I wasn't working on this constantly at, like all day every day i had pieces of the day that i got to work on it so it did take longer than maybe i thought but but that's okay i i really wanted to put all the details into it and make it really look good so i'm glad that i took the time uh because yeah i'm i can't say it enough i'm super proud of this thing <laughs> and it's gotten me so excited for spooky season now because i mean we're in august and it's coming, it's creeping along the corner. It, it, it is creeping around the corner. And I think that uh, unintentionally, this video was actually kind of appropriate because the Haunted Mansion movie just came out at the end of July. And um, I don't know if you guys have seen it, but we saw it and it is so good. Uh, if you are a fan of the Haunted Mansion ride at all at Disney, go see it. It's really, really, really good. Just all the hidden things in there. I mean, I might have to talk about that in another video. <laughs> if you guys want me to do a review about that and talk about it, I will, like a, but it is, it was spectacular. And I'm like a huge Haunted Mansion fan. So, uh, so this was kind of appropriate. We had a haunted house. Um, and you know, the Haunted Mansion came out, but Anyway, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Uh, again, if you made it all the way through and you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. And also don't forget, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and ring the bell so you can be notified anytime I post a new video. As far as new videos go, um, I think the next video I'm gonna do is I'm gonna work on my Halloween costume. Uh, I have most of it already. I'm doing a Laura Croft from Tomb Raider. 
uh, since we're doing the video game Halloween party, me and my husband are doing video game themed costumes. And I am going to specifically kind of try to do her version from the very first one, PlayStation version, where she has the square or the triangle, uh, like pixelated boobs. <laughs> so uh, I got to work on that. I have most of the clothing items already. I just, I got to make the the triangle poops and I, I'll probably make them out of cardboard. I have some cardboard boxes. And then I also need to work on her backpack. In the, in the video game, she has like the tiniest backpack, which I always thought was really funny uh, because she, somehow she can carry a bunch of stuff in it. That's like, you know, video game logic, kind of like Pokemon, how you can put your bike in your bag or <laughs> whatever. It doesn't make any sense. But um, I always thought it was really funny. And we found like a tiny backpack uh, that is technically made supposed to be like a keychain, but I'm going to use it because it's so small and I think it'd be really funny, but it needs painting. It needs new straps. It needs a bunch of stuff. So uh, I got to work on that too. So that'll probably be the next video. I'll work on my Laura Croft Halloween costume and the costume this year is pretty easy. Like I said, I'll have this one video and then probably later near the end of September, uh, I'll probably have the finished look um, and our photo shoot because me and my husband do a photo shoot every year. But I don't know if I'll do a hair and makeup tutorial because I mean, there isn't really one. She has doesn't have that much makeup and then her hair is just in a braid. But I will do like a final look video and all of that stuff. Anyway, so yeah, next video will probably be costume. And then um, there's not a whole lot left to do for the party. There's a few bigger projects. Um, I, there may, might be like one more big project video, but the rest of it is small little projects and I might not do videos for. I will probably just post them onto my Instagram or there'll be TikToks. So with that being said, uh, I will leave links in the description of this video to my Instagram and TikTok. So you can see those smaller little projects uh, that don't make it to YouTube, don't become videos. Um, but I will do a video of the me putting the invitations together because I always do that. We just have like a lot of, I have a lot of goodies and things uh, prepared for September and October. Lots of Halloween-y stuff. Uh, spooky season things, um, more things towards the party, like I said, and you know, just other stuff that I've been wanting to do uh, the, these past two spooky seasons, but I haven't had the time to do them. And now that I do have the time to do them, I want to do them. Anyway, I'm really excited about that. But yeah, other than that, um, I will also leave a link in the description of this video to my Etsy shop. Uh, where I make lots of spooky Halloween -y things all year long. It's mostly a lot of how, uh, witchy prop potions and stuff. And right now is the perfect time to start ordering your stuff for Halloween. I August and September are like the best times for me to be working on orders. So if you really want to put some orders in, please do it now. October gets harder for me. Uh, and usually a couple weeks before our party, I put my week, my shop on vacation. So now and September are the best times to put orders in if you want anything for Halloween. So get on that if that's what you want to do. Also, um, of course, if you uh, want to support this channel in a little more personal way uh, than just hitting the subscribe button, um, I have a Patreon and uh, there's more content there, like the Terror Tube episodes, which I mentioned earlier in this video and uh, just lots of un other fun goodies that are there. Um, also including in that are things specifically for spooky season in October. Um, you can get a Halloween card from me uh, and my husband, which is usually the result of the photo shoots that we do with our Halloween costumes. You can get that in the mail. You can uh, be a part of our Halloween party this year because we do a live stream for patrons only. Uh, and you can get an invitation in the mail too. So when you see that video where I make the Halloween party invitations, you can have one. Uh, so there's lots of fun stuff um, coming up. So please think about being a patron because you can 
you help support this channel a whole lot. And uh, also, you just get a lot of fun, spooky season stuff. And uh, anyway, but um, and then also, uh, if you're looking for something to do in between my videos, I have two books on Amazon. Uh, one is a zombie romance and one is a vampire adventure story. They are both available uh, as paperback and Kindle versions, and you can read a little bit of the Kindle version if you want to before you buy it to see if it's your thing or not. I'm also in the works of a third book, which I am very close to finishing. There is a sneak peek of that on my author website and also on my author Facebook page, which I will both link to those things in the description. Um, so there's two leaked chapters out of sneak peeks of that book. Uh, it is about a young woman who's possessed by a demon. So if that sounds interesting to you, you can check that out. But yeah, that's, I guess that's pretty much it. Um, again, thanks for watching this video. I know it took longer than I anticipated to get this whole thing done. Um, but I think it was worth it. It turned out really cool. That's it. So, uh, I guess you guys just stay spooky and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!